Right. Um, just waiting for any comments, any questions at the moment. Otherwise, I can go ahead um, with some of my own comments. Okay, I'm just sharing with other groups at the moment. And hopefully, maybe some other people coming who may be going to ask some questions. Okay, <clears throat> right. Uh, hi everyone, uh, it's uh, Philip from England. I'm a UK native English speaker. I was born and went to school in England. My website is onlineenglishteacher.com. And if you have a question about English, please go ahead and ask. I'm ready to answer. Well, uh, specifically about the arts, but also some, uh, I thought uh, the grammar a lot, grammar a lot, uh, business English a lot, so I can also answer uh, various other areas as well. Right. Um, just gonna maybe share my free form link as well. Um, right. Let's do that. Right. Uh, if anyone, if there aren't any questions, I can actually just go ahead and I will maybe write, uh, give some comments uh, about the about myself. So don't feel you have to make a question. There we go. Um, right. Okay. <clears throat> So I'll just go ahead and uh, if nobody's answering any questions, I'll go ahead and make some myself, I guess. Um, okay, thanks a lot for that. Uh, we can check if there's any questions coming in. Uh, a couple of people here, no questions. Maybe everyone's tired or busy or whatever. So, right, okay, I'll just go ahead and. Uh, uh, just introduce myself one more time. Uh, this is Philip from England, a UK native English speaker. I've been teaching the arts uh, online. I started eight years ago, art specialist basically. And my last student, she actually got eight average, seven each section minimum. So doctor, she'd failed three times before, and uh, after my class, after eighteen group classes, she passed. So there we go. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, hello from Argentina. <laughs> Hi, Estella. I seem to. Uh, oh, I don't know if I. Oh, okay. I I seem to remember your photo. So, um, I don't know if. Uh, hi from Argentina. <laughs> don't know. It's um. Um. Uh, okay. Interesting comment. Uh, yes. Right. Uh, we're still spreading the word that you're alive. This may take a minute. Okay. Uh, right. So, hi from. Hi, Estella. I've just done a. Uh, I think yes. I think I'd seen you somewhere in my free forum or something like that. I've seen you your photo, uh, possibly. Um, right. Okay. Uh, so, hi there. Hi back. Um, okay. Uh, right. Okay. I'll just. Um, got a message from uh, LinkedIn. They say. Uh, sorry, from Facebook rather. The, Keep going, we're telling your followers to join your video. Oh, great. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, it's great to have that help. Right, okay. Uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, give uh, some comments uh, about the IELTS. So, the IELTS exam is uh, four sections, right? Everybody knows it. Um, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Um, the uh, speaking exam is 11 to 14 minutes. The uh, reading exam is uh, 60 minutes. The listening exam is uh, 40 minutes, and the uh, which one have I missed out? Writing, perhaps, uh, is 60 minutes. Um, and uh, the speaking section has uh, speaking exam has three sections, um, and um, uh, which are um, the uh, warm up. So I'm trying not to cough here. Which were the the warm up uh, uh, section and uh, the uh, cue card, and uh, also the um, uh, will be the follow-up to the keyboard, right? So I'm thinking maybe a bit here. And uh, okay, so the uh, the warm-up section will be things like, "Hi, what do you do? Uh, you know, what's your what's your job? Anything like that." Uh, the uh, cue card will be uh, things like, uh, um, you know, talk about your favorite sport or hobby or whatever. 
and the follow up in theory it should be following up about the cue card although I have seen sometimes uh, questions where they seem to kind of go off track a little bit uh, not directly so much but that was on websites where people have said they've um, uh, they have taken the exam and they wrote the questions and then said the questions seem to go off topic a bit uh, or maybe a lot Right, okay, uh, if anyone has a question about the IELTS, please go ahead. Uh, this is Philip from England, UK, UK native speaker, and uh, this is very jumpy. Okay, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what you mean by jumpy. Do you mean me, or do you mean the uh, audio, or, or both? I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure. Right, uh, hi everyone. Uh, if you have a question about the IELTS, please go ahead and ask, and I'm ready to answer. Uh, okay. Um, right, I don't know what, that, uh, what 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 Karen really means. Maybe you can explain if he if he has is possible. Uh, oh, the audio. Okay, the audio. Thanks for that. Um, right. Um, that may okay. I'm not sure. How how about everybody else? Um, I'm gonna shake the microphone. I'm using my one here. It's sort of a high tech uh, mic, a little bit. So um, possibly maybe the int maybe my internet's not very fast, or who knows? Maybe you're on a mobile. It doesn't have such high reception. Oh, excellent. Okay. Oh, maybe if I speak better uh, directly to my mic, that may help. Okay, who knows? Um, right, okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, Kieran, hi. I seem to remember you from my forum, or um, I think you've asked a, a question in my free forum before, or something vaguely. My memory is not the best, but I kind of remember something about that. Uh, so how's your, how's your IELTS going at the moment? And by the way, if anyone else has a question, please do go ahead and ask, and I'm happy to answer. So yeah, uh, Kieran, how's your how's your IELTS going at the moment? Uh, I'm trying to remember from the forum um, that you're taking it. Uh, I seem to remember a comment from you. Um, anyway, I'm not sure if Kieran's still here or he's busy at the moment. Um, okay, uh, hi everyone. Uh, it's Philip from England. Uh, please go ahead and write a question if you'd like. I'm a long-term UK native IELTS teacher, and um, I offer free stuff like free ebook. I uh, also have a free forum, um, and also I have paid services from onlineenglishteacher.com. And uh, right, okay. If nobody has any questions at the moment, I'll go ahead. But I do prefer questions from other people. I can't guarantee I know always the answers. Although you know, for the IELTS, of I know quite a lot as I've been teaching for many years now. Um, or, or questions about grammar, anything like that. I've been teaching that for many years as well. So I don't guarantee I know all the answers. However, I probably taught, I may have taught it before many times, uh, although of course not 100% uh, likely all topics. Because uh, English has many grammar rules. Uh, right. Okay. So I'll just go ahead for some tips. Uh, let's start with uh, tips for the uh, tips for uh, speaking. So for the speaking exam, try not to speak very fast. Um, some people think that if they speak at a super high speed, this is really going to impress the examiner. So basically, uh, try not to speak at a super high speed. Um, oh, someone just asked to add me to friends. Yes. So try not to try not to speak at a super high speed um, because um, that is just going to seem a bit unusual. And uh, most native, some people, some native speakers speak quite fast, or or it depends. Like sometimes I speak very fast personally, or sometimes a little bit slower. Um, but don't think that just because you're going to be speaking very high speed, that's going to really impress the examiner. Um, so that's a bit of a risk uh, doing that. Uh, also, um, for the speaking exam, uh, for task two. Try to make 15 bullet points. So, uh, for example, uh, you will uh, uh, try to make 15 bullet points. So, for example, uh, you're going to uh, you have one minute preparation time, and then you can make uh, 15 bullet points, um, and then um, uh, and then use e and then for each bullet point, speak for one to 
two minutes. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, one, to sen one to two sentences, or maybe half a sentence, or something. And uh, basically, if you can make fifteen bullet points, um, then uh, you're kind of almost guaranteed to be able to speak for a minute. I think. Okay, I've got a message from Med uh, El Haji. That sounds like someone from Egypt or something. Right. Um, okay. Hi, everyone. It's Philip from England. Um, I'm a UK native IELTS teacher. I started teaching the IELTS about eight years ago online. And if you have a question, please go ahead and ask uh, for free. I'm happy to answer now for free. And if you're, uh, I have a free ebook, free forum, free material, and also paid services like Skype classes, writing correction, e courses, private forum at onlineenglishteacher.com. Check it out <laughs> if you're interested. Okay, um, let's go ahead for um, uh, next uh, next uh, tip. Uh, right, for the speaking exam, um, if you don't understand the question, and I'm just doing this from memory, but these are in my free ebook, um, um, but uh, you can get a lot of tips as well. well probably a lot of the same, the exact same, same stuff is in my free ebook, I'm saying now. Um, so if you don't understand the question, do ask. You can say something like, "Excuse me, could you rephrase that?" or you know something like that to try and get a different, different vocabulary from the. Uh, oh, you can say, "Excuse me, could you rephrase that, please? Could you re rephrase that question, please?" Um, because if you don't understand the question, you're trying to answer it. Then, if you, if you're guessing, um, then you know this is going to be a little bit harder to actually get the correct answer. Uh, right. Okay. So there's that. Um, and another tip is if you're out for sp I'm on tips for speaking just from memory at the moment um, and uh, if you're uh, if you're asked a question like try to change the vocabulary you don't want to repeat the same vocabulary so and by the way everyone, if you have a question please do go ahead and ask uh, I much prefer to kind of be asked a question and just uh, although I don't mind giving tips from memory because I've been teaching the arts for a lot of years and Written a book about it, uh, ebook about it, so I kind of know lots of them. Uh, I wrote a tips ebook, free tips ebook. The link is at the top if you want to download that for free. Uh, right, okay. So uh, next uh, next tip is um, yes. Uh, so if you're asked a question, try to rephrase the question. So if they say, for example, uh, "What is your favorite food?" You don't want to say, "My favorite food is." You can say. Something like, personally speaking, I love to eat Spanish food or anything like that. Um, that can be uh, useful. Okay, uh, next tip uh, I will say um, for the task one, try to become familiar with the types of questions that may be asked, like, what is your name? Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. And then what you can do is you can write out the answers and then you can uh, check the grammar and so on. Now, for the exam, you don't want to look as though, um, I, can, I can say this 100% or almost certainly, you don't want to look as though you'll memorize the answers. So, you know, maybe rephrase it when you're speaking. But just, you know, have an idea of the kind of structures and vocabulary uh, that can perhaps help. Um, the next tip for the speaking exam is, and by the way, I may not carry on the e course, uh, so the uh, webinar so long if nobody asks any questions, although I'll probably do at least 30 minutes. So uh, if you have a question, Please do go ahead and ask, and it may well. I'm not guaranteeing it's going to be going longer, um, but um, it'll uh, be more likely, uh, anyway, more interesting maybe, at least. Um, but anyway, I'll do at least 30 minutes just by myself, just giving tips if no one's asking a question. Um, hi everyone, if you just joined, this is Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com, a long-term UK native IELTS teacher. I first started teaching the IELTS about. Uh, Eight years ago, I have free resources like free ebook, free forum, free material, and also paid stuff from my uh, paid website, onlineenglishteacher.com, and uh, e courses, uh, uh, private forum, um, homework, etc. Right, okay, um, let's go ahead to the next uh, tip um, is going to be. Um, um, oh, yes, yeah, so, so rephrasing, I can't remember what we're going to up to. Uh, oh yes, yeah, so it was um, becoming familiar with the types of questions. Okay, so also do um, for task two, where you need to write uh, 15 bullet points in a short time, um, then 
um, make sure to practice that in your free time because that's a skill students kind of find quite tricky, quite challenging. Okay, uh, next uh, tip for the speaking exam. Um, try to just be careful about your accent, uh, the way you speak. Uh, of course, they're not expecting you to sound like a native speaker. However, uh, you know, just try and you know modify it a bit, uh, minimize it a bit. Um, so, and um, native speakers, we kind of link words together. So, instead of saying, "Can I have a piece of cake?" Uh, sorry, a, a non-native speaker would say, "Can I have a piece of cake?" For example, without linking. Of course, they don't, but that's just exaggerating to show it um, and to highlight it and uh, highlighting that. And a native speaker would say, "Can I have a piece of cake?" We kind of link the words together um, and uh, also. Uh, make sure the <coughs> excuse me. Make sure the phonetics are correct. Um, so uh, we uh, a noun will be present. Uh, the stress is on the first syllable, present, present, and the um, um, and uh, 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 the verb will be present. I will present, and so on. So also we uh, that would be the stress would be in the uh, present. Uh, the stress would be in the second syllable. Uh, it's a bit hard for me to stop it, but if I'm not mistaken, and uh, as a native speaker, but yes, so uh, present, present. Okay, okay, fine. I'm pretty sure I've got that right. And um, okay, so um, be careful of the correct uh, uh, syllable stress. Um, and um, okay, just say hi everyone. If you have a question, please go ahead and write. I'm happy to try and answer um, any questions you may have. Please go ahead. And I will try to answer it. Uh, I've been teaching the IELTS for uh, about eight years. Uh, well, started about eight years ago, not continuously. Uh, so I really know uh, the exam pretty well. And if you have any questions, please do go ahead and ask. Okay. Uh, next, uh, next tip is um, yes. Yeah, so or, or, anyway, so we're talking about uh, uh, syllable stress, word stress. Uh, also, there is sentence stress, where the key words in the sentence we kind of say longer with more emphasis and the um, and I think they're, they're called uh, concept words and structure words. Um, and um, I probably let's see. So um, I need to remind myself of something there. Let's quickly Google it. Uh, content words. Okay. Um, just remind myself of that point. Um, so basically. Um, Right, so um, when, yes, yeah, so here we go. So sentence stress, I'm just trying to remember the difference between the two. So we have um, uh, content words, which are um, the keywords. Okay, that's, okay, so basically the content words and the structure words. So the content words are the keywords and the structure words. So uh, this is just a website I'm reading from uh, uh, online, uh, englishclub.com. It's a free website that I've been used for, using for many years. And um, they have a lot of great information there. And uh, anyway, uh, so... For example, uh, we'd say, will you sell my car because I've gone to France? So you can actually check that out if you want to view that as well. Uh, so you, uh, will you sell my car because I've gone to France? Um, oh, okay. And I'm just going to give the link. For, I have a free forum. Maybe you're coming from that at the moment. Uh, and um, um, But I, I kind of post to it. I'm not always kind of correcting there. Um, but I do post three things like this uh, here. Um, Okay, and uh, yes, so this is my uh, free uh, forum. Um, well, I don't know how to make that appear. Um, but uh, yes, so do check it out uh, if, if you'd like to um, join that. And uh, that uh, has over 2,500 members. So if you'd like to join that and uh, um, lots of uh, uh, st uh, stuff going on there. Well, not so much, but <laughs> some people are asking questions. Right, okay. Um, Excellent. So go, I'm just on speaking questions at the moment. Uh, now, if anyone has a question, please go ahead and ask. Uh, do feel most welcome. Um, and um, I will just go ahead with tips. Otherwise, uh, I have written a book about tips, so I have a whole bunch I can uh, give if necessary. But if anyone has any specific questions, please go ahead and ask. And um, right, okay. So that's speaking. Uh, other tips for speaking. Um, uh, I can think of. Um, Try to drink, try to drink some water before you go into the uh, into the exam. Uh, you don't want to have like a dry throat uh, when you're in the exam, so you may not be able to bring the water into the exam room. I think maybe I've heard, read somewhere or something. 
um, but um, um, you can um, uh, you know you can drink some before uh, some water before to have like a, a wet throat right <clears throat> when you have a dry throat it's a bit harder to speak perhaps I think a lot of uh, politicians and actors know that okay uh, very good and uh, next uh, next speaking tip um, is going to be um, record yourself I mean you can also just try recording yourself it's a bit strange recording yourself um, but uh, you can kind of see how you sound you know if you have some bigger issues for um, if you have some bigger issues for uh, pr uh, pronunciation issues you know you have a strong Italian accent or anything like that uh, you can record yourself and then uh, that can help uh, next uh, next tip um, oh hang on got a message from somebody Somebody, oh, someone has tried to add me on Skype. Um, so maybe I'll just be coming here. I'll just oh, I'll put my um, uh, my um, uh, email on Skype. So if anyone wants to add me, um, the, it should be at the top. Um, but I'll put my Skype ID here, and someone's actually just added me on Skype. So possibly, uh, you know, if you're interested in the paid services, writing correction, email Skype. Uh, sorry, uh, e uh, Skype classes, e courses. Um, so private support forum. Okay, um, right. So this is uh, uh, somebody. Oh, somebody from the UK, from Liverpool. Uh, and uh, uh, <clears throat> right, this is Alar. Oh, I won't say their full name. <laughs> of course, maybe maybe even they're in the call. I don't. Know. Uh, right. Okay. Hi, Alar. If you're here, uh, you know who knows. Right. Okay. Um, going ahead and trying to miss any comments, uh, any questions. Uh, that somebody may have. Um, aha, so this is a doctor. Uh, right. Um, so what I'll do, actually, I'll just um, I'll just send the link to this person. Actually, I'll just say uh, I'm just giving uh, I'll just tell them, hey, I'm in a <laughs> webinar at the moment. Right, and they're probably going to say, yes, I know, I'm listening to you. <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah, right, okay. Uh, okay, so, uh, right. Um, okay, so anyway, I'm just going to, right, uh, I'm just going to uh, send them, the, oh, I have a price discount at the moment. It's uh, three, oh, thanks for reminding me, this guy, or this woman. Uh, it's uh, uh, 300 uh, 300 US half price for single student classes is 300 US dollars uh, for um, half price at the moment so uh, if you're interested in uh, in that uh, oh I'll give the link I'll find the link and uh, it's finishing offer is finishing on Thursday um, so if you're interested in that uh, do um, do go ahead and uh, let me know um, so I'll, I'll put the um, um, I don't know I'll put the 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 offer is on my uh, website um, I'm trying to find that at the moment so sorry I'm trying to be too slow here um, right okay very good so right now then if anyone has a question about the IELTS please do go ahead and ask and uh, um, so uh, let me see here um, I'm trying to find the offer. Right, you can go here. Oh, where's the offer? I don't know how to share that. Oh, I know. I can share that uh, in um, somehow. Uh, right, so if I click share, and uh, so, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, and uh, so, share in an event, uh, share in a private message. Uh, oh, I don't know how to do it. Anyway, um, so. Uh, yes, anyway, if you go to the uh, website, uh, online English teacher, uh, sorry, uh, uh, my business uh, Facebook page, and uh, there is an offer there at the moment. Uh, it is uh, a half, half price for single student classes. So if anyone's interested in that, uh, please do go ahead and ask, uh, or if you want more details. And, um, um, okay, so, um, hang on. I'll just uh, put that in the... Uh, chat window. So if anyone's interested in that, uh, please do go ahead. Now, I didn't come here just to put advertisements. So if anyone has a question, please do go ahead and ask, and I'm happy to answer. And uh, 
It's kind of just a, not kind of just writing advertisements here, which wasn't my plan, of course. Um, right, okay. Um, what time is okay to talk to you? Uh, right, someone wants to talk to me. Uh, so just see how long we've been in the webinar. Nobody seems to be asking any questions. So uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I'll probably finish. Um, um, uh, I'll, okay, I'll, I'm just going to probably talk to this person uh, shortly. So if anyone has a question, please, uh, who is interested in a doctor, interested in uh, uh, classes. Um, so, and um, so, yeah. Okay, uh, hi, Alar. I don't know, can you hear me? A-L-A-E. -E. I won't say your full name, don't worry. Uh, but you just messaged me on Skype and I said, oh, I'm in a webinar. So, <laughs> so Right. Um, right. I'm trying not to miss any comments. Everyone's very quiet. I guess you must be going to sleep nearly or busy or having a meal or whatever. Um, so, um, right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, right. Okay. Uh, very good. So, um, and um, now hang on. What did I just paste there? Make sure I've corrected the paste thing. Uh, okay. Hi, uh, so nobody's asking any questions. So, okay, let me go, let's go on a few more tips. So, uh, this is a tips, a question answer tips. So, I'm going to go uh, tips for writing. I'm trying to give 10 tips for writing. Okay. Um, and also some tips. Okay, I'll give tips for reading and listening, and then at least 10 tips for writing. So, uh, tips, for write, uh, tips for reading uh, make a schedule and format the text, underline keywords. Uh, tips for listening uh, read ahead and um, uh, make sure you make sure you follow the instructions, um, and uh, you can make notes and you transfer them at the end. For reading, and listening, do lots of practice exams. Uh, then for uh, also for reading, um, uh, you know, uh, make sure you understand the types of questions, and also for listening, uh, do uh, listen to the different accents. Um, hang on, it's got a message from Allah. Uh, right, okay, and uh, for uh, uh, for um, uh, uh, speaking, I've done a lot of tips for speaking. Now I'm going to give ten tips for writing. Okay, ten tips for writing um, in. What should I say? Ten tips for writing in. Not. No, I won't say uh, like what well, uh, in one or two minutes. Okay, here we go. So basically, make sure your handwriting is very clear. Um, practice writing with a pen or pencil. Um, you can't bring a dictionary, etc., into the exam. Um, you start every sentence with a complex word. Make sure you have enough time for checking, like five minutes for task one, ten minutes for task two. Um, also, um, you can use a computer if you have a disability. You need to ask well in advance, maybe six weeks or eight weeks or something. Uh, you can get a regrade for writing, um, but it's not certain. You know, it's going to increase. Um, have a uh, think about <coughs> uh, uh, make synonyms before you start writing, so you're not going to be uh, repeating the uh, the question uh, data uh, and uh, um, what else? That's about seven or eight tips at the moment. So a few more then, um, and uh, may, we have a clear structure like introduction, agree, agree, conclusion, or introduction, uh, question, uh, uh, cause, uh, 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 the the uh, cause, solution, conclusion, or anything like that. Look at model answers. Uh, practice writing by hand. Most people don't have time for that. Make sure you cross words out clearly, um, etc. Okay, there, there's ten. Right. Okay. Uh, how long will we be speaking for? 30 minutes. Everyone's very quiet. I guess you're all busy, but thank you for attending. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if anyone has a question, please go ahead. Otherwise, I'm ready to finish uh, here. Uh, this is okay. Uh, no questions. Everyone's obviously uh, busy at the moment, but thanks. For, thank you for coming and listening. I do appreciate that uh, also. And uh, so this is Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com, and I have uh, various free stuff, free ebook, free forum, free materials, and also paid stuff like. Um, uh, pay stuff like um, e-courses, uh, e Skype classes, writing correction, and uh, homework. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, I appreciate and uh, please message. Oh, ma add me on uh, Facebook if you'd like. And uh, appreciate everyone coming here. And I'm just going to go and speak to someone who's been in touch. This is my um, Facebook business page. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure.